Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is where you're at. I hope you guys are having a good day. I have to scoot you a little bit closer here. Sorry about that. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I got something in the mail today, and it was I was on Big Red EDC's live, and he had a giveaway, and I guessed the number, and I actually was closest, which is crazy. You know, I never win a numbers game, but I, somehow I managed to, to guess the right number. Well, I wasn't exact. I was one under. But anyway, we'll get it out here and see. I don't want to show you this, but it's not been opened. It takes the fun out of it for me. If I open it off camera. But I just want a knife. And this feels a lot heavier than. It's a big box for one knife. You know Big Red. He's, he's one of the. Kindest and generous guys. He just, he just awesome. I love Big Red. And JV's. JV's one of a kind. But anyway guys. We're going to get into this. And see what. Brother JB put in the box. Oh, we're we'll using wee schism to open it. I've been carrying this thing for the last couple of days. It's just that tip is so handy for this. I'll do it on camera, but we're going to see what we got in the box. Got a pack. What? Dude, there's a lot of stuff in here. We got the Smoky Mountain Knife Works hat. And believe it or not, guys, I almost bought this hat at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. This exact hat. And... After it's case family reunion, me and uh, basic five nines, Aaron and Ryan and Brian and Brian's knives, RH Blades and Shades, AW Customs, Car uh, Carson Tucky knives, RH Blades and Shades, and I guess. My mind ain't going good. Sorry if I miss somebody. But anyway, uh, so that was cool. I know a lot of channels have been giving away. Smoking Mountain Knife Works since. Check this out, guys. Whoa. This is crazy, man. This is the thing, the only thing I won, I thought. And this was enough. Dude! Glow rhinos and stuff, that's sick. A DSKFS patch, so now I got a blue one and a red one. I just need an orange one. Big Red, dude, thank you so much. And a PNW fun stuff pin, I didn't know that. I had, I love this thing. Guys, look at this pin. That is wicked. It's got like an arrowhead end on it. Man, he does an incredible job on these. Oh, I guess I better get to the rest of it. But you can see in here, we got a bag of swag. We got the glow rhinos. Yeah. Let's just check it out and see what all we got. This video might take a while. I just dropped the bag, sorry. <laughs> My old crippled up hands. 
but anyway, uh, we got the Oregon Truck and Auto Authority. We got the SKL Ranger I. We got the DSKFS patch. Got the Glow Rhino. Dude, that's a patch too. Here we got the O light keychain. And then we got the pulls. And then the flashlight. What's on that flashlight? PNW fun stuff. Very cool. You guys sick? We I can't say enough about what he does. He, he's just so talented at making carbon things. He is in now in the EDC Roundtable. You guys go check that out. The EDC Roundtable. You can go on the Instagram. And reach out to one of the guys that's in it. Like I said, Stevie and Lancelot Ladder and them. But, dang, I am tickled, man. That's... And then we got, oh, dude, I love this. That's weird, because I just talked to uh, O-Father about getting the uh, Donald Trump on the, him and the Superman outfit and stuff. I think it's so cool. And ended up winning one of them. So the good Lord provides for you guys. If you just be good to people and stay strong. Oh yeah, I did win the flashlight. And this is why I'm stoked to have this baby sick. 3100 lumen. It's EDC 27. And then I got, you know, bigger in the swag. I got a killer bag of swag. And then I got Survivor says. What is this? Dude! I swear to God, Pink Blade, check it out. Guys, man. That is so cool. It's got a ferro rod. And I'm sure it's probably got a 90 degree spine to arc it with. But here's the Pink Blade. It is stainless steel USA custom design, handcrafted in China. <laughs> I mean, it's not sharp, but just a cool little fixed blade. This will probably go in a giveaway. But it's always nice, guys, to the feeling of giving is just, I say, well, I would say it's more satisfying than receiving stuff. Stuff will come your way, but your image you leave on people will last forever until that person's gone. It's like, I want my name to live on through people talking about me saying, man, that guy was stand up, a man of his word, and was good to people. You know, like I've said before, when I was in my 20s and up to my mid-30s, I was quite the character. 
you know, I was, I just assume each is I had to say hello. I mean, I was, I always had a chip on my shoulder. And life, if you live that way, life will absolutely hand you something that will break you. And that's what happened to me. And I mean, wouldn't take nothing for it. Even though it was terrible times, because it's made me who I am. I'd rather go out crippled, beat up, whatever as I had to live with a being disrespectful, having a bad image, people not looking at me. You know, whenever I'm gone, I don't want people saying, Oh, man, I, I know where he went, you know. I just don't want to. And you got to you gotta overcome your adversities. But you got to come out with a, a better outlook on it. If you're going through something right now, don't let it define who you are. I have done that. It happens a couple times a year. It's usually around, well, it just happened here a few days ago, but it's usually in the middle of the summer or towards the coast of fall because I've had all summer and I ain't been able to get out and do nothing. And, and then when winter comes, it's usually spring when it happens again because or more towards the end of fall because it's starting to warm up you start smelling the fresh cut grass and then was the time to look forward to getting out and and having a good time enjoying life but anyway guys sorry i got off on that this is all about big red going above and beyond what he had to do and guys, if you never gave something to somebody, try it. If your heart's right, it will feel amazing. You know, I've gifted a few knives to uh, four or five different people. And it's, it's so satisfying to see the joy that they get when they get the package. I said, I don't care if I have anything, and that's, yeah, let me get into another thing. Kim, I watched Ken Faulkner's video. If you ain't watched Ken Faulkner, go watch his videos, guys. He's a good guy, and he does people right. He's just, I just think the world of Ken, and now I forget where I was going with that. Oh, he said that it was said by a certain somebody that if they didn't care about how many subscribers they have, they're lying. That is a pretty bold statement to call people liars whenever they don't care how many they have, which I don't. I would, I would, I, I get joy out of growing. But I don't care if I get big. I don't. I just don't have that that kind of time to invest in it. And, but anyway, guys, uh, I'm getting back off on that again. But Rick Red, buddy, and look at this. He even got some candy, and of course we got Big Red. Big Red Brother, I love you, man. And you've made my day. Guys, if you haven't checked out Big Red EDC, and we even got a, a Conoco Knives. That's sweet. Guys, if you haven't checked out Big Red, what's this? Some high chew? 
Bigger at EDC, I just about everybody knows him because he's he just people just draw to him, which is would be awesome if that's how I was. You know, that's the kind of person I want to be, the image where people just want to help you and be and do stuff. You know, the kind of person that people are drawn to. And anyway, guys, this this stuff is just amazing, and it will go. I will probably keep the finch. Anyway, there'll be stuff stuff in the giveaway, future giveaway that was given to me because I won it. It wasn't a gift. And usually the stuff I win is what I give to other people. You know, and that being said, not everything I win will go to people. Because if it's stuff that I can't get, then I will keep it because it's in fact I know I'll never own one. If I don't keep it. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. You know, it's like this wee knife that I got. You know, it, it took me a few months to be able to get it. And a lot of people, if you can't get the higher stuff, the more premium, try to save up and, and just make that big ticket. Just do without for a few months, a couple months, whatever. Um, I was fortunate enough that I was gifted stuff to show so I didn't have to buy knives and that made it where I could save up for a while to get one but anyway guys I'm done rambling I love y'all it's a gorgeous day outside get outside and live uh, if you can't get outside just Realize what you've been blessed with, what you do have, instead of what you don't. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I love y'all. Peace.